Hello YouTube. It is 2.44 in the afternoon in Camrose, Alberta, and this is segment two of my review of the fifth season of Doctor Who. Today we will be talking about his three major companions in this season. consisted of not one, but three major companions. There was River Song, the uh, sort of reoccurring uh, mystery woman that we don't know a whole hell of a lot about. There's Rory, who is uh, um, Amy Pond's boyfriend. And of course there's Amy Pond, who was the sort of uh, main Doctor Who companion. Amy Pond. How can you go wrong with Amy Pond? I mean, first of all, her name is fantastic. And second of all, she's Amy Pond. I mean, she's this fiery little Scottish redhead who is as intelligent and crazy as the Doctor himself. Fact, in this season, there are many times when the Doctor is often saved by Amy rather than the other way around, which is something unique to this season of Doctor Who. In seasons past, it's always been the Doctor saving the Companion in various different life-threatening situations that the Companions innately have a tendency to get themselves stuck in. Rose Tyler was particularly bad for it. She was always getting herself into all of these little sticky predicaments that the Doctor would have to save her from. That's not to say I don't like Rose. I quite like her, actually. I liked her, I liked Martha, and I liked um, Donna Noble, but I have to say, Amy Pond is probably my favorite. There's just something so fiery about her that's just fantastic. Something else that I found was particularly interesting about this character is she doesn't automatically trust the Doctor like all the other companions have in the past. And I think this stems from them meeting when they were very little and him promising to take her away with him and then not showing up until she's in her 20s. That's bound to make anybody a little distrusting. And even though she does trust him, and she does care about him, and she does like him, and she is happy to be with him and all of this kind of thing, there is that slight amount of distrust. And he does tell her a couple times in the series, Amy, you have to start trusting me. By the end of the series, though, she does eventually start trusting him. And then you get episodes like Amy's Choice. Entire episodes based around the companion and not around the doctor. Entire situations where the fate of the world, the fate of the Doctor, uh, herself, and sometimes the universe and the TARDIS, everything bases around the choices of one girl. And if you look at the overreaching story arc of the entire series, quite a bit actually bases around Amy. I mean, the Pandorica Opens was pretty much entirely based on, on Amy's memories. And yes, it was a way to lure in the Doctor because it was something that he would automatically trust. But at the same time, it's entirely based around Amy. Amy's so happy that Rory came back because Amy wished him into existence. And this brings me to Rory. Rory, when he first stepped foot on the TARDIS, I was afraid it was going to be another Mickey, Rose, and Doctor scenario, where, where Rory would play this sort of third-wheel boyfriend that was important until suddenly the Doctor kind of took over his place. I have to admit, though, I was pleasantly surprised. I quite like Rory, actually, as bumbling and silly and, and sort of slightly third wheel as he is, he does play an important role. And in the Pandorica Opens, he shows his devotion to Amy by standing in front of the Pandorica and protecting it for over 2,000 years. If that's not love and devotion, if that doesn't bring a whole new meaning to Till Death Do Us Part, I don't know what does. Also, Rory isn't really this sort of third wheel. Amy really does love and care about him. I mean, in Amy's choice, she, it, she, in the end, chose Rory over the Doctor. And Amy's memories brought him back, not only from the dead, but from non-existence, from complete never even being born. Amy brought him back. That's how much she really does care about him. And they did get married in the end of the story, which was beautiful, by the way. Robin is rarely funny, whose links I've put in the comments or in the uh, bar below me here. 
um, does reviews on each and every episode of the fifth season of Doctor Who, and she summed it up quite nicely when she said this about Rory. Rory is the nurse to the Doctor. He was almost written in a way that he could have been set up to be this funny third wheel, but turned out that he wasn't, which was a beautiful piece of writing on Stephen Moffat's part. Speaking of interesting writing, this brings me into River Song. There's been a lot of speculation about who River is to the Doctor because she keeps hinting at him and calling him sweetie and the way she acts with him and stuff like that and then of course there's that little blue book that she won't let him look in because shh, spoilers. I've heard people think that she's Amy. I've heard people also think that she might be the Doctor's daughter from season three or four. I don't actually remember. I think it was season four with uh, David Tennant. But both of these theories seem vaguely ridiculous to me. First of all, she wouldn't be calling him sweetie and treating him more like a husband than anything else or even calling him dear and being all condescending and wifey with him if she was his daughter. And second of all, her being Amy just doesn't make any sense. Honestly, I believe it would make more sense if she were maybe, oh, I don't know, Rose? Honestly, I don't think River is a character that we've met yet. I think that she's an entirely different individual, and I believe that she winds up being the Doctor's wife. Anyway, the point is, there's all of this mystery surrounding River Song, and we're meant to sort of speculate and talk about and try and decide on or agree on what she, what and who she could possibly be. Not only what and who she is, but who she is to the Doctor. And guys, she knows his name. That's the most closely guarded Time Lord secret of all, and she knows it. There is something about her that Stephen Moffat has not told us yet. All in all, I quite like River too, actually, to be honest with you. She's probably my least favorite of the three companions, but I do like her. I like the mystery and the way the story is being written around her. I kind of like the fact that everything is out of order and that they never meet each other at the right times and all of this kind of thing, and she has it all in, in the right order, but he doesn't, and there's a lot of stuff that he hasn't done yet and all of this kind of thing. I find it really, really interesting. And the Doctor always comes when he's called, and somehow that's kind of sweet. So basically the consensus is this. Rory turned out to be a lot better than I thought he was, and I'm very, than I thought he So all in all, the consensus is this. Amy Pond is just awesome. You can't go wrong with Amy Pond. She's just fantastic. Rory turned out to be an, a much better character than I thought he was going to be, and I'm really, really glad that he's sticking around for another season because I'd like to see how the relationship between him and Amy progresses. And River. She's not my favorite character, mostly because she hasn't been developed as a character yet because of all of the mystery surrounding her. I think when that mystery finally starts to unravel, we're going to realize that River is a hell of a deep character. And finally, I really, really like the relationship between everybody. I mean, everybody, all four of them, have this sort of fun, flirty, silly, talkative, friendly relationship and it's really interesting it's a nice relationship there's no tension there's no anger or frustration i mean even between rory and the doctor which is something that inevitably happens between the boyfriend and the doctor anyway so that's the end of this video link is right here for another uh, video which uh, we'll be talking about the various bad guys and until then i will see you later <laughs>